Welcome to Stress Stimulus Video Training. In this video, I will show you how to configure multiple logins in a load test. When recording a test script for an application that requires login, you will typically enter the credentials of a single user. To realistically test the performance of such applications, the tool would need to emulate multiple users with different credentials. Let's learn how to parameterize user credentials in the applications using form authentication. There are four steps to parameterizing credentials. Creating a data set with the credentials. Finding the request that should be parameterized. Creating parameters. And verifying that the multi-user authentication works. Let's begin. In the video called Recording a Test Case, we recorded a script with the username user at eStore.com. I opened this script. Step 1. In the Source Variables section, select Datasets and click Create Authentication Dataset. A new dataset called Credentials will be created. It has two fields, Username and Password. I'm going to paste a set of credentials into the dataset. Alternatively, you can open a CSV file with user credentials. Step 2. Next, to find which request to parameterize in the test case tree, click Find Sessions by Content or hit Control F. Then type the recorded username. Change the search scope to Requests and click Find All. Request number 11 with a recorded username will be highlighted. Step 3. To create a parameter, select this request and click the Parameters node in the Workflow tree. Select the Body tab to see the Request Form fields. There is an Email field which contains the username. I need to replace it with the dataset variable we created. Click the Replace With column to display the variable picker. Expand the Datasets node, the Credentials variable, and the Username field. Then select the VU Bound Data Binding method. This binding method will ensure each VU will use the same credentials on all test iterations. I will do the same for the password field. Step 4. Let's run Verify to ensure that we created the parameters correctly. By default, the first virtual user will replay the script, but you can change it. Verify is completed with no errors. Let's make sure that request 11 was replayed with different credentials. I open the Session Compare Inspector by double-clicking it. And click on the Web Form tab. The recorded session is on the left, and the replayed session is on the right. As you can see, Stress Stimulus used the credentials from the first row of the dataset instead of the recorded credentials. In the next video, we will learn how to parameterize user credentials with other types of authentications. Thank you for watching.